Well, hello, America. We got some of the floor down here. Um, what I've done, what I've done is I've taken this one-inch uh, polyiso insulation, the same stuff I put in the in the walls and everything. It's one inch, and I put it down, cut it around the wheel wells and all that. Set it down. That's going to be my floor insulation. Then. Above that, I've got uh, a MDF, uh, um, you know, pegboard, like you put on uh, your garage walls and you hook the hooks into it to hang your tools on, all that pegboard, uh, just without the holes. So it's just that, I think it's called MDF. Anyway, um, I'm going to put that on top, but I'll put this all down. I glued this one in and I glued the front one in, but I haven't glued these two center ones in. They still got to go down, all right? But what I did is uh, the, the, the dips in the floor here, they, uh, the foam, when you stand on it, a lot of, a lot of weight and a lot of pressure, and there's, if it's on that hump, it would squish that foam in, okay, in between the humps. Um, on the, hump, the humps would squish the board in and would compress it and everything. And in other areas along the walls and stuff, there's no dimps, dimples or ridges at all. And that this right here would bow in and it would be a, a low spot. So what I did is took some of that great stuff and I put it down in between the uh, grooves and then put the foam on top of it and let it dry. Well, I did that to the front board and the back board, but not the center one. Now I gotta pull them up, glue that, set them back down and let them cure. While they're doing that, I'm gonna be cutting some of that MDF uh, foam, uh, uh, board out for an underlayment. Now to keep that foam from uh, pushing the foam, uh, you know, the, the spray foam from pushing the pink foam up, I put this board on there and put a little bit of weight on there to hold it down so that the, the uh, glue can't lift like, you know, act like a jack and lift it up. It'll keep the floor level that way. Let me show you. Let me show you the wood I got for the uh, floor. It's a uh, home, dec home home decor collection. It's Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor oak laminate flooring, and uh, it's these. Uh, it's like Pergo. It's not Pergo brand. I don't, it's it's home decor brand, but it's like a Pergo um, laminate floor, and. Uh, we're going to lay that down in the living area, not in the back. The back section is going to be the, the factory original floor with the carpet and everything. And that's just where my tools and, and uh, oddball stuff's going to go, lawn chairs, things like that. It's going to be like a trunk, okay? Okay, what I've done, this is the back panel. This this is the uh, this is the floor. This is the factory floor. It's got carpet on the other side here. This was the factory floor underlayment before they put the seats in. So they had this foam. It's real high density foam. They had it positioned out, you know, like this, different places. And um, then they had mounting brackets, big old steel mounting brackets, bolted to the floor. Then they lay this floor, the uh, uh, the subfloor down, and. Uh, uh, it has holes cut in it to where the seats would lock in to the floor of the van. Well, I took all that out, took all the bolts out, the, the brackets for the seats, everything, just made it a smooth uh, floor. Well, on the bottom of the van floor, as you can tell, is like a, like a pickup. It's got the little ridges in it for, for strength and support. And uh, so what I did, um, I wanted to insulate this and just put this back in here and use this little section here in the back as a trunk. And uh, so I peeled all these little plastic things, ripped them off, and repositioned them down here. And the reason I put all these real heavy duty ones right here is because under this is underneath where the batteries are gonna go, and the batteries will sit right across here, okay? And then this here is just regular, whatever was, will sit there, just uh, lawn chairs and things like that. And then right on the edge, I put this, this foam right on the edge here again to support this edge so it doesn't break off over use, okay? So let's take this over to the van and we'll see what we got there. This actually folded in half when it pulled it out. It's two, actually two pieces with a hinge in the middle. And I just slide this right up in there. 
lay that down right there. There we got it. Ta-da! <laughs> it's easy as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So with that, I cut this area out here. I'm gonna put two before right here. I gotta cut this two before off and then use this other piece back here, like that. And then water tank will sit right there on steel floor. So we got the we'll have this two before right around this, almost like a like a framework. And then I'm going to take a crack sealer foam, the uh, great stuff, and I'm going to put it all in there and set the bucket or the, the tub right down nice and gentle on the foam and let that harden and become like a cradle. Now, I don't want it actually glued in, this thing here glued in. So what I'm going to do is after I spray the foam in, I'm going to, on the bottom of this, I'm going to turn this over and on the bottom, I'm going to coat this with some kind of oil like a... Uh, I've got uh, tire foam, it has a little bit of oiliness to it, and that'll keep the foam from sticking like glue to this. It'll stick to the, the, the floor, but not to this actual plastic, so whenever I need to take it out, I can take it out, clean it, rinse it out, or replace it if it gets broken somehow, and put another one right back in, and there's the cradle already ready for the next one. I've got my wall in here. I've got my wall in here. On the other side of it, I've got OSB, oriented strand board. It's kind of like cheap plywood on the other side of that. And then there's going to be a, a, pla a, a platform up here for my bed, and it'll come out to about right here, okay? And now, and then after that, I'm going to build another wall up toward the ceiling, okay? And that probably won't go all the way to the top. It'll probably just go to the top of this little ridge up here and then come back. So it'll be L-shaped, okay? Come across, then down, then the bed, and then down to the floor, okay? This is all going to be trunk back here. So I can put my garden hoses, tools, um, just whatever your man junk drawer <laughs> so that will all go back here uh we all gotta have junk drawers think of rvs out outdoor storage that goes underneath if, if all that kind of stuff i'm not going to have a lot of that stuff i'm going to travel fairly light but that'll be back here lawn chairs that kind of stuff all right so there's going to be a battery bank across there the water and then this little area and then this wall will be right here and i'll be able to hang things on it like extension cords whatever this is the step the factory step it goes right along the edge here. Now we're gonna do a little adjusting here to get it in. Anyway, that's gonna go right there, and then I got some screws here that will go and screw that right in, just like it was factory. So this bumper, this step, this back floorboard is factory stuff. And then in front of that will all be wood flooring and cabinetry and living quarters. So that's the plan. I hope. <laughs> Unless I change my mind again. <laughs> So, with that said, uh, uh, that's another day of working out here. Uh, the weather has been perfect, 70 degrees, a uh, little breeze. Uh, I think we might be in store for a really, really pretty sunset. But we'll have to see. So, keep your fingers crossed. There's not any clouds in the sky, though, so I'm kind of thinking there won't be a whole lot of real pretty sunset, but glow orange glow what i'm hoping for that's only about 15 minutes away so we'll see what happens see ya let me get in frame here see ya <laughs> i'm just having too much fun doing this told you we were going for a good sunset <laughs> isn't that pretty oh my um i'm shooting this with a canon 77d and it's a uh what size is this it's a 55 to 250 lens a canon lens and it's almost gone ain't that pretty today was a good day <laughs>